Thank you for joining us for Research 101 Online Libraries. I am your host, Mike Wilde. I'm the manager of Learning Technology Solutions at Los Angeles Pacific University. And today we are starting a series on research in online libraries. Today's one is discovering what is an online library and how an online library is set up. It's really critical in the research process to understand kind of how online libraries work because they're a little bit different than traditional physical libraries. Let me jump into our presentation here and we'll, we will discuss the differences. All right, starting off, everyone knows that a physical library is made up of a large collection of books. Physical libraries have books and books and books, shelves of books. Uh, back in my day, I'm dating myself a little bit, we had little cards we had to go pull out of this little card drawers to find the author and figure out where the book was in the library. Today, things are digitized. You can go in on a computer and you know type in the book you want to find and it'll tell you right where to find it. But it's a physical location. Online libraries are very different than that. Everything is digitized and stored in an online space. Now, it's really critical to understand that they're made up of a collection of different databases. Now, LAPU has three primary databases that we connect to, or collections of databases, let's say. These are all premium vendors that most online libraries have subscribed to, but we have EBSCO, we have ProQuest, and we have Elsevier. Now, these online libraries work in a really unique, simple way, is Everything, everyone goes to their computer, right? You think, oh, I'm gonna log into my library, a single location. Well, what happens is your computer connects to the cloud to some kind of service, like a, some kind of search service. We use EBSCO Discovery Service as our search platform. And what happens is that those different database providers provide different levels of connection to that cloud service. So EBSCO has a back and forth where you constantly can see every single resource in the catalog, all right there, ready to go, uh, set up and ready for the users. But there are cases where there is a one-way connection. And in our service, EDS, we have this situation where uh, there is only one direct route that and, and EDS has some kind of knowledge of what publications are in ProQuest, but not all of them. So there are cases when you search in the, uh, right here in the computer, and you're thinking you're getting all the information, but really it's only information that EBSCO has from ProQuest. Sometimes the database collections don't play nice with each other. And in this case, uh, ProQuest does not provide a back and forth. So we don't always see everything, but I'd say about 95% of the resources that you're looking for can be found from within the cloud, but there are occasions where it might benefit you as a user to go directly to ProQuest to get access to that content. So considering how an item is set up is really important because there are a variety of ways to search a library. We're gonna go through this in this series, Research 101. We're gonna talk about all the nitty gritty details, everything you need to know to do research within the library. Uh, first thing, there's a basic search. Every online library has some kind of basic search functionality. We're gonna walk through that in the next few videos. Uh, there's also advanced search functionality. We're gonna talk about things like Booleans, which is words like or, or and, or not, and ways that you can group keywords and searches to find exactly the reference you're looking for and to pare down your search so you don't have two million you know, hits to look through. You can also search by database. So we can actually go into each of those collections and search a particular database within that collection or a group of databases. We're gonna walk through that in an upcoming video. And then the last thing, last way we can search a library is through a publication. You can actually go into your library, into a particular publication and do a search within there for a particular topic or subtopic. So let's say you like uh, New York Times, for instance, and you wanna go look at the New York Times articles and look for something related to your topic. You can do that. You can go into that publication, the New York Times, within the, within the collection, whichever database it belongs in or a collection of databases, and then you can search by topic. There are so many ways that you can begin this research process. With that understanding, we're gonna move on to the next video. We encourage you to click play on basic search within the library. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this has been informative and helpful and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing 
what kind of research you provide here at LAPU. Thanks.